Uh, time to get back to the old grind. Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. As we left off in the last video, I said when we came back we'd be working on this beautiful Nissan GTR 35. So let's get started. Hope everyone had a good holidays and a good New Year's. That was alright. Got a new addition to the family. One year old puppy. And most people say that's not a puppy, but to me, they're a puppy up until they're about somewhere between two and three years. That's when they stop being a puppy. Because if you buy a do if you if you have a dog and you look at the food, certain breeds will actually go for like my last dog my master he was actually a puppy more or less until he was five years old so it all depends on the breed to be honest and so far it seems to be working out okay got him from the more or less the pound or the humane society Maybe I might post a video of them and put it on my YouTube channel. I think that would be kind of cool actually. But yeah, so far it seems to be a good, ma good match. Right now we're taking off the rear cross member A. Out of the three of them, this is the most expensive one. Go figure, right? And I'm guessing on the Nissan GTRs, I'm not too familiarized with cars. I haven't studied them like other vehicles. I believe the transmission is actually sitting where are you? right here in your box. B, V6, VR38, DETT. And the TT stands for Twin Turbo. And because the Nissan 370Z has the VR37, I believe this is the upgraded version of the VR38. So, that's just what I've figured out so far. Like I said, I'm not an expert on these Nissans. Now you ask me about a 91C1500, I got you covered. But, these imports, I'm definitely not too familiarized with them. Alright, rear end link. Alright, the rest of this I believe has to be taken off the car lifted in the air. Okay. drive or all-wheel drive we'll say when, once I start getting views and more views on my channel I'm planning on doing live streams of this um, and during the live stream I can take answer questions comments whatever the case may be you know, get your guys input on what I should do with vehicles, you know what I mean? Whether it be the colors, if it's a vehicle that requires more than, or that's capable of putting in more than one engine, you know, we can all decide as a, com as a group what engine to put in it. Unfortunately, ones like this, they only come with one engine style, so it is what it is. I'm not the creator of the game. And 
the nice beautiful warm weather we just had would have continued where I live. I was going to start doing work on my trucks, but all of a sudden, magically, we got snow and it got cold. So, I haven't really been able to do that. Dang, there's a lot of bolts on here that are rusted up. I only wish bolts like that came out like that in real life. Yeah, anybody who's a mechanic knows. <laughs> you can spray it as many times as you want. If you ain't got a good penetrating fluid, it ain't coming out. Alright, I think we're all ready. Just gotta finish doing get over there. Just gotta finish doing this. And I put the old girl up in the air. Alright, time to put you up. Now, because I got this out of the junkyard, there's probably no oil pan. No. There's why they take the oil pans and drain all the fluids out of them in the junkyard, so that wouldn't then, if the vehicle has a leak or something, it doesn't contaminate the ground. And on this video, we're going to do tear down, building the motor, and then on video part two, it'll be building the suspension, and then uh, putting the motor in the car. Well, only one. Hmm. Only one's rusty. Sorry for that. That was an alarm. Alright, let's see. Oh, bushing. Oh, these two things. Like I said, I'm not too familiarized with building these cars, so when it comes to building the motor, it's, I tend to jump around a lot because I'm not entirely sure what all is required. Unlike with the, the OHVs, uh, the dual overhead cam motors, even the IAB, them ones I know pretty well more or less cars and motors that I use on a regular basis in this game. Alright, just got to take out this lower control arm and take the cross member out. And we're going to take out the steering knuckle B and the front suspension cross member F. All right, time to drop it down and pull the motor. And where does it go? Right into the pile with the rest of them. Perfect. Close that back up. Alright. Where are you, R38? Probably passed it, didn't I? Ah, there you are. I haven't found what the rear wheel drive version goes into, but we'll figure it out. this list first I didn't see what that was two of these gears each uh-huh 
think it's only one per side I need. Crankshaft. Oh, crankshaft, where are you? Probably on the last page, if I had to guess. Nope, there it is. Crankshaft pulley. I believe it's only two bearings. Need this block. Valve cover A, V6, VR38, DETT. -T. And we're also going to need the B version of that, which is right here. Alright, good so far. Gonna get that fuel tank, you know. And we'll grab a couple of these. I don't know how many I have. Have a check. Uh, where's the 38? Oh, okay, I'm not getting from there. It's V8 oil filter. It's weird. It's the 370Z oil pan. Six piston oil rings. Probably don't need any of these, but we're going to buy them anyway. Uh, let's see what else. Ah, that one's telling me I need two of these, two of these, six of these, and now we need the belts. And they should be kicking around here somewhere. Probably sitting there staring right. Oh, there's one. And that timing chain. One of these and one of these. <coughs> uh, timing cover? A, B, C, D. Choice of these motors, you don't need push rods in them or rocker arms. I mean, you gotta put rocker arms on it, but not the ones. And windshield washer for the bar. This, I need this, I need this. I don't need them yet, but I'll get them anyway. Alright, it's time to put the big boy parts on. Now, something's telling me I'm going to screw this up and I'm going to do it backwards like I normally do. Where? I need two of these and two of these, but I'm only going to get one. Stage 3 computer. And cylinder heads. That's one. And there's two. Now, you don't get the exhaust manifolds for this motor because they come equipped with a turbo. It's six coils. Fuel rail, where are you? Two of these. And the intake manifold. Now this one is in here, I just don't know where it is. This one's the VA VR thirty eight DET. I get one of them, one of them, six of these bad boys. Uh, what pump is it? Can't remember. I'm not painting this one, so. Yeah, there they are. Turbo V638 DETT. I need two of them. And the throttle. Two of them. 
perfect. One of these, one of these, one of these. Alright, time to go to work. Put the block in, crank, crankshaft caps. I call it bearing caps in here, but. Six performance pistons ready to rock and roll. Zoom in there, why don't you, Scotty? Oh, I love the short rod cap bolts in this. Those OHV motors and the dual overhead cam ones, oh boy, oh boy, they take forever to put in, don't they? Now the oil pan, you don't put on until the front cover is gone, I know that much. Alright, time to flip this bad boy over. Oh, I need to grease that. Fuel filter on, or fuel filter? Wow, oh, oil filter. Camshaft B. Rocker on B. Put the plugs in first before we do that. It should have been the first thing I did. Keep from any particles and contaminants getting inside the mold. Ooh, I forgot the caps. Did I actually do it right this time? Oh, minus this factor. Four per side. Nope. Hmm. Figured that's what this would have been. All right. Well, grab eight of these because it's four per side, like I was saying. Steering pump is I4B. Oh, that's easy to find, it's right there. Alright, put the coils in. You don't put the alternator on until the oil pan goes on and the front covers go on. Actually, really don't do anything with the front of the motor until those covers go on. I don't believe it, I actually did it right this time. I'm impressed with myself. Like I said, normally I get one of each rocker shaft and then I end up getting double the cam shafts. You know? That's not the case with this motor. I've come to realize out. No, I did not. Put the lower intake on. The 
fuel rails now. Upper intake. With all eight bolts. I'll put the throttles on. Throttle bodies. I haven't got that cover yet, but that's okay. Put the front cover D on. I thought the oil pan had to go on for the... Hmm, guess I was wrong. What? Oh no, I forgot the parts. I knew I'd forget something. It's going together way too smoothly. Two of them. Put this on. The other two cam gears on, A and B. And this timing chain, and the big one. Which connects everything to the water pump. I'm going to put on camp, the timing chain shoes. That way then I can start to go dancing when it's all put together. Thousand bolts per piece. I wonder why these cars cost so much. Look at all the bolts that the people have to put in. Oil pan now. Oil filter. Crank pulley. V8. And about a thousand idler roller A's and roller B's. Actually, there's not that many on this. A lot more on the V8 dual here we can, supercharger engine, or even the AX, AKX or AXK. Alright, you have the milk meter. Cool. Alright, now the belt, and then belt tensioner, if I have one, I can't remember if I bought one. No, I did not, of course not. Why would I ever do something silly like that for? I think we're built. Actually, it didn't take too long. Ugh. Need some blue. Alright, now what I'm gonna do... Ooh, gotta bring this over. Take that. I think maybe we'll also go and get the car painted today, too. No, don't open. I said, come off. Thank you. Ugh. That's a cruddy looking window. Filter type A's. Okay. Started acting up here. And eight. And eight of these. I need a brake servo too, I think. ECU, a brake servo, huh. alright, we 
also got to go to the electronics section. Let me get one of them, one of them. Probably gonna need one of them too. Take that. Take that too. These ones I run out of the most of because, well, I normally use the most. Piece box is done. Our steering pump, radiator. Oh, I bought the wrong one, but thank God I had some. Now, do I got any filters? No. Of course not. Why would I have any filters? Get two of these. Type A. Pretty red. I told you things were going too smoothly today. Thank god they're not expensive and I can use those on uh, a couple other cars I have. I also need a large inner cooler. I do want to fire this bad boy up. I call it a day. Coolant Reservoir D. Y'all remember that? I spin a little around. Perfect. No, I don't want the reservoir. I want the air filter. pump an EBS module in. It's almost time to put the motor in. I think. Yeah, let's go put the cross member in on the bottom. Wow, 15. Ah, I forgot a fender. And a headlight. Perfection there. Alright, now I'm going to go play Armstrong. Armstrong here and uh... I already have it. Dang, this guy's tough.
sixth one that was on the car. Bushing, where are you? There you are. And there's a good exhaust tube while we're here. Two of these. None of those. Oh, I forgot what the pipes were. V8B. I buy right here. And we need two middles. And then we need two GTRs. Whatever they may be. Oh, they're there. Look at the size of those exits. Whew. We also need one of these, too. Where are they? A flywheel cover. That, I believe, is in. There. Oh, there it is, right there. This also allows me to put my starter in. Alright, let's finish putting the exhaust in. I wonder if I could chrome that piece. What? Ah, I'm missing stuff again. Like I said, wouldn't be a video if I didn't mess things up. I already had some anyway. A lot of them. Pump fuel pumps too. Hmm. In my opinion, this is one of the most expensive things in the entire game. 4500 bucks. Luckily I got some sort of a discount on it, but still. I only got to pay 38 but still, wow. that transfer case. Transfer case. Right there. Ooh, I did have one. Alright, this is as far as I'm going with the suspension for today. And we'll come back tomorrow and we'll finish it up. And that's probably when I'll do the paint and body bar too, because it ain't going to take me long to put the suspension in. I'm going to try to keep my videos about 20 minutes to a half hour hour every single one might be a little bit much so all right it's time to drop it down put food in it and see if it's going to start all right put some all in Overfilled that one. Oops. Should be almost done. There we go. Now we go over here. Speaking of my new poopy, and there he is. 
Hi, Spade. That's his name, Spade. Boxer mix with much. Well, I know what the other mix is, but I'm just not willing to say it right now. Was a little pooch. All right, last one. We can see if it's gonna fire up. Let's see if I make sure all the nuts and bolts are connected. Love it. Can start from this seat. <gasps> uh oh. Betcha I forgot to put the battery in. Uh huh. Alright, let's try this one again, shall we? Perfect. Awesome. And thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.